Okay, hotel inspector away. Here we go. Oh my goodness gracious me. Welcome to the knocking shop. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to start the day with the bollocking. It's the What's laundry this? room. For God's sake, here. Who are you gonna blame this on? What's and the, the point of me the giving stuff. you a nice room when you can't even fucking chuck out rubbish? Nice Talking to him is like trying to grasp hold of water. Mm -hmm. I want someone to pull their finger out and make sure that the shower's cleaned. I mean, that is not that complicated to understand, really, is it? And I'm fundamentally astonished by, A, how incredibly rude you are by not saying to me, thank you very much for sorting out my manky bathroom and making this look clean and neat and tidy. Oh, oh, don't be ridiculous, John. This isn't a washing pile. Well, what is it, then? Oh, what is it, then? This is like the Kilimanjaro of dirty if laundry. We, if we're talking of... Ah! 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 <sighs> but sometimes I walk into hotels and I think, oh, my goodness, what on earth am I going to do here? I feel like I'm in someone's room. My goodness, I feel like I'm Alice in Wonderland and I've just drunk the little bottle and suddenly I've grown. Oh, the glamour. Oh, the glamour of it all. Oh. Don't twist yourself to solve the riddle. Ask who's got the biggest diddle. <laughs> well, clearly not me. Well, I frankly disagree. Absolutely filthy. <laughs> Look at that. It's like growing. It's so mouldy. It's alive. That is filthy, filthy, filthy. Ugh. You know, I'm all for shabby chic, but this is shabby sight. <sighs> Certainly not a room where you want any couple activity. And you cut them up with loads of shite. This room, to me, kind of smacks rather of bordello chic. This is very odd. Oh, oh dear. The industry rule is that anything over a 1,000 is okay. unacceptable. Seventy-four thousand. It doesn't make sense to me. I can imagine a six-foot-six six American would have quite a lot to say if you were shown into this room. <sighs> Where did that come from? The only warning note I have to sound to you is yeah. if it isn't immaculate, if it isn't spick and span there, I am going to tan your behind myself. Right, OK, I'm game if you are. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be an invitation, oh, darling. Right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and personally, I find it a bit odd for Honeymoon Suite to have a cot with a doll in it. No. I'm getting a little bit frustrated by how hard this is to actually accomplish. I'm not sure that everybody would necessarily appreciate my naked woman with her wet nipples and a bit of bush. Uh -huh. And he can like it or bloody lump it. I must say, in all my time looking around guest accommodation, I have never seen anything this explicit. And I really don't think it's appropriate. <laughs> Amusing for me, but completely inappropriate. <laughs> I'm already frustrated. I've been through the door ten minutes and you've already decided I told the Kina and she just won't do it. What the fuck is that? I mean, that looks like the wall is extruding a poo. Frankly, <laughs> it's <laughs> deeply unpleasant. Mm. It's quite weird. Do you think it's a room for hobbits? <laughs> And yet, you've got a pathetic little green flower. Nice wallpaper. Just what the naked ladies on. 
It's got more than naked ladies. It's got fornicating couples. I've just well, realised. <laughs> Gosh. I thought you might like it. I love it. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it, Gordon. I'm most impressed. <laughs> sort of instruction manual. <laughs> so glad I'm not staying in this room. This is quite the most grotesque thing I've ever seen. I mean, even the fake flowers look as if they're urine stained. Clean this place up. That simple. It looks like something died here. It smelt like an old Ford Capri that someone had died in. And the owner has replied, I can't understand this. Every morning I do the rounds, remove all the cadavers and put them straight in the dustbin. Some of them are still warm. I certainly catch them before they start smelling. Perfect. Mmm. You know, that breakfast room, what I think is it's just not somewhere that yodels to you to enter its portal. The nasty bastards who really chase you hard. Yes, I think they would. Thank, thank you very much. So how do you feel about getting rid of the Scissor Sisters? Why? Why? Why all this? The problem is everything about this place suggests that the owner just doesn't give a fuck. But you have to make a man feel like he's not waking up in Barbara Cartland's underwear. <laughs> I'd love to know why I've got some perky-breasted, hairy-legged dryads on these doors. It's a long time since I was reassured that the bedding on a bed had been changed and was clean for me. I'm afraid this is my line in the sand. And, you know, over this line I will not cross. I'm not staying here. We've got... A uh, board full of boobs. They're big, baby. <sighs> I haven't seen that before. Woohoo! Shagpile heaven. Set for some low budget horror movie. B Day here, that too is a very continental. Jeez Louise. But that's pretty much where the positives end. Mmm! Mm. Jesus. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> Breakthrough! <laughs> Well, there's flies over there that apparently seem to have frozen to the windowsill. I mean, honestly, look at that. Where the fuck do we go from here?